got a quick little review for you today about a game called Snow Fortress. It's for the HTC Vive, and it's currently in early access on Steam. Being called Snow Fortress, I'm sure you can imagine the premise. You use the Vive and you build a virtual snow castle to hide in. When evil snowmen come siege the castle, you take up arms and toss snowballs at them. That's basically the gist of it. There are just over a dozen levels right now, and each one has you battling it out with a snowman in a castle of their own. You chuck snowballs at them, either with your hands or with a slingshot, and the idea is to just knock them over. Once you knock over all the snowmen, the level is complete, and you move on to the next one. You probably don't want to get caught in the cold, and the game is called Snow Fortress after all, so you do get to build yourself a nice little fortress. At the beginning of every level, you're given a few blocks to build up a nice wall. When you run out of those, or you accidentally knock over your existing wall, there is a generator where you can take a couple blocks out to fill in the holes and gaps in your defenses. There's even a few tetrominoes that you can get only from this generator. It's fun to build your own wall and defend against a snowman, especially in virtual reality, and the tracking seems pretty good for the most part. The snowman mercilessly chucks snowballs at you, but the one thing that bothers me is that the blocks feel like they almost have no weight behind them. In some of the later levels, you'll be squaring off against three snowmen, and they would literally just pepper my fortress at the very beginning, and you would think that a couple snowballs wouldn't do much to giant blocks of ice, but sometimes my wall would just crumble, just as if they didn't have any weight to them, especially the smaller blocks. What I ended up doing is refining and reinforcing my build for my walls, so I put the small blocks in front and then the bigger blocks behind them for stabilization. However, I still feel like there's no weight behind the blocks, and that's probably the number one issue that I had with the game. As of right now, there's not really too much content in the game either. It's only 13 levels and a survival mode. There's no music and the visuals are very modest, but it's early access, all right. And sure enough, it just released on June 9th, so just a couple days ago. In fact, I went through everything in 92 minutes. I beat all the levels, I played the survival mode, which is basically an endless wave of snowmen as you build up a fortress. Hell, I even got number one on the global leaderboard. That's cool, I guess. I do have a few suggestions and things that I would love to see added, however ambitious they may be. Of course, the standards would be more levels, more weapons, besides the slingshot, heavier blocks, and more things to do, but I think it would just be cool to actually create like a giant fortress that you could teleport around in using the vibe, and then the snowmen would actually siege your castle, and you'd have to pelt them from snowballs, from the parapets, and repair the walls. Honestly, it would basically be the same game, just on a larger scale. If anything, Snow Fortress should be on your watch list. Picking up snowballs, building a castle, removing snowmen's heads is an experience in VR that is much more entertaining than I anticipated after I actually started it up and everything. With, uh, while well, it's a bit light on content for now, Mythical City Games do have a few games already under their belt, so the game is only gonna get better. Thanks for watching this quick little review. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to boop that subscribe button and leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already seen it, feel free to check out my gameplay of Geob Simulator by clicking over here. And a huge thank you to Isabel for being my patron over on patreon.com slash taco. Have a good one. Peace.